Welcome to Jay's Species 101. The killer whale is the largest member of the dolphin family and is found in all oceans of the world. They are also known as orcas. Killer whales are carnivores that feed on seals and prey fish. You've probably heard that the orcas are the top predator in the world's oceans. And I can assume you already know that they are considered smarter than most of the living species on Earth. However, today, I am pretty sure you will find some of interesting facts you've never heard about the orcas in this video. But before we begin, be sure to like and subscribe for more greater content. Your likes gives me reason to continue making these type of videos. And now, let's take a deep dive and get started. Number 10. Killer whales live in group called pods. Killer whales are very social creatures. They live in groups of related bloods, headed by the oldest female called pods. The group can have as few as three members to as many as a hundred or more. Some pods can consist of as many as five generations of killer whales, including the youngest ones. Their mothers, grandmothers, great-grandmothers, and great-great-grandmothers. The generation could go on. The reason for inclining population of killer whales in pod is because killer whales have been around over 11 million years. Pods of killer whales can even gather together to form a clan. They can also be divided into smaller groups called subpods. Members of a pod travel, hunt and sleep together. They communicate with each other and help each other out in times of trouble. When one member of the pod dies, the rest are believed to mourn and share their sadness. Number 9. Killer whales can grow up to 32 feet long. Researchers stated that male killer whales can grow up to 32 feet, which is actually the size of an African elephant, and big ones can weigh up to 11 tons. Normally killer whales are 16 to 30 feet long and can weigh from 3 to 6 tons, and males are larger than females. While newborn killer whales weigh around 400 pounds, they continue to grow until reaching a height of 25 feet. They usually reach this height in just two years and they can weigh up to 8 to 11 tons. Even the teeth of the baby orcas are about 6 inches long and are razor sharp. Because of the killer whale's size, it is not preyed on by any other creature in the ocean. It is an apex predator at the top of the food chain and the largest apex predator on Earth. Its size means a great amount of strength, which the killer whale uses in order to catch prey. Number 8. Sharks are killer whale's favorite food. Sharks are apex predators. However, the orcas are on top which means they are at the top of the food chain. They almost eat whatever meat that is available when they are hungry. The victims often include big marine fish and mammals such as seal, great white sharks even baby sperm whales and baby blue whales. Orcas are large, powerful predators with sharp teeth and long tails built for hunting. They also have two sets of eyelids that enables them to see better in the dark. Orcas have 360-degree vision so they can see what is around them in all directions. Many times orcas hunt and kill sharks just for fun and often to eat their liver. Orcas have sharp teeth that can tear apart a shark's flesh and a large body weight which can crush a shark under its weight. They can stun or kill a shark by ramming it with their head, then they will use their sharp teeth to rip the shark apart. Orcas can also find sharks by their scent trail of ammonia which is a series of chemical signals that sharks release when they've been preyed on or injured. Number 7. Killer Whales Cannot Smell Killer whales probably don't have a dedicated smelling organ in their brain, so it is theorized that they cannot smell. Although, killer whales are known for their incredible senses of sight and hearing. In fact, they can hear better than dogs and even bats. Using this excellent sense of hearing, killer whales practice echolocation. Killer whales communicate in this way by emitting sounds and listening to their echoes by knowing how far away objects and other animals are. They can determine if they should swim closer or not. Number 6. Each pod have their own language. The orcas are one of the most complex animal species in the world. Just like humans, each pod speaks different language of their own. They produce high-pitched whistles, pulse calls and low-frequency pops to communicate with one another. They are capable of making clapping sounds with their jaws. They also make whistling noises for close-range communication and use pulse calls for long-range communication. This allows for a high level of connections and skills sharing throughout the community and bonding. While members of the same pod may make the same calls, younger members are learning from older whales which keeps everything on track. Although killer whales communicate through sound, they also use touch and various gestures to communicate. One of the most prominent gestures is head-butting and slapping their fins. Number 5. Female killer whales carry their young for 17 months. Female killer whales have a gestation period of 17 months. This is one of the longest in the animal kingdom. But it's not surprising considering how big some killer whale calves can be when they're born. Female killer whales give birth to just one baby at a time. The baby is born tail first and right after it is born. 
The mother guides it to the surface to take its first breath. Baby orcas double their body size during their first year and grow to about 5 meters long. Number 4. Killer whales can sleep with one eye open. What is interesting about these giant mammals is that they have a very unusual way of living. Killer whales need to go to the surface, which allows them to get oxygen. Therefore, they sleep with just half of their brains like any other dolphin species. If a killer whale's left eye is open, that means the right side of its brain is awake and the other asleep, and vice versa. Number 3. There are more than one killer whale species. It turns out that orcas are actually more than one species. We're still figuring out which ones all of these different orcas are and how to correctly classify them because there are so many of them. Research is starting to show differences among orcas in genetics, diet, size, language, vocalizations, location, and physical appearance. One thing researchers agree on is that these different subspecies or species will need to be separated at some point. In the southern hemisphere, proposed species include those referred to as type A, large type B, small type B, type C, and type D. Type 1 and type 2 killer whales are common to the northern hemisphere. There's also a group of killer whales called bigs that are seen in the North Atlantic on rare occasions. The offshore killer whales are seen mainly around Australia, and there's also a population found in the western North Pacific. Determining species of killer whales is important not only in gaining information about the whales but in protecting them. It can be difficult to even estimate how many different species there are out there without knowing their abundance. Number 2. Orcas aren't whales. Scientists disagree that orcas should be classified as a whale species because they are not actually whales. Instead, they classify these majestic creatures as dolphins. Orcas are the largest type of dolphin out there and have been on Earth for 11 million years or so. One of the hypotheses about the misnomer was originally thought up by sailors, who were not familiar with orcas and the sound that whales make, who saw how many large marine animals the orcas hunted, then got confused about what was going on and called them whale killers. The term then somehow got flipped around over time. Number 1. There are still 56 orcas in captivity all over the world in 2022. Killer whales have been kept in captivity since 1961 helpless victims of a blatantly commercial experiment of the humans. Orca in the wild are traditionally seen in family groups of between 10 and 20 individuals, with the eldest leading the way all over the world of oceans. Sadly, in the past several decades, dozens of wild orcas have been captured and caged by humans in order to live permanently in artificial social groupings which bear scant resemblance to their natural order. At least 166 orcas have been taken into captivity from the wild since 1961. The growing uneasiness with the concept of keeping orcas in captivity has only been slowly increased. Despite the best attempts of the display industry to blow a smokescreen over such negative publicity, the wider world is now increasingly aware of the cruelty. For humans, it is fantasy land. To orcas it is a life imprisonment from their family and pots. In recent years, a steady torrent of incidents have been reported. A growing catalog of accidents, illnesses, failed pregnancies and premature deaths of killer whales that have helped to show up this industry for the cruel circus that it really is. At least 172 orcas have died in captivity, not including 30 miscarried or stillborn calves. As of August 2022, there are 56 killer whales held in captivity in 8 countries. 28 of them were in the United States. Of these killer whales, 27 were captured from the wild and 39 were born and raised in captivity. So that was all for today and I hope you enjoyed my video of the 10 facts about killer whales most of you never heard about. If you want to support the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Species 101.